So just like that other, somebody shooting not too far from here. So what I did is uh, I tried to bring out one of those steel spikes like I just showed you in my, uh, before the, uh, my other log bridge to mount, the one I bought at Lowe's. It didn't work. This stump is just still way too hard and I could not pound it through. I could not drill a hole to get it through. Um, so what I did, I had to come up with a different plan. I had to be a little more creative. And so what I did is I just took some blocks of wood because I wanted to elevate it up a little bit. There was no tree right here. So I took some blocks of wood, I drilled some holes through them, cameled the blocks of wood up, and then I put some extra bigger, stronger leg bolts all the way through and I got my wrench in there and uh, so those leg bolts are running through the bottom of my trail camera box. And that's how I mounted this uh, camera to the log bridge and it, uh, I've got some great videos off this throughout the summer. It's now uh, October and uh, things are slowing down a little bit with the bears and they're leaving the areas heading up to the high country. But hopefully I'm going to leave this during the winter and see if we can get some bobcats and coyotes coming across and possibly even some deer. Yeah, this is that strangest thing when you watch deer walk across this high log bridge. It's just 12 feet up. I just haven't had that on any of my log bridges like I do on this one. All right, so that's how I mounted that this camera this time on this log bridge. I like to have them at my ends, like I said. So trail camera tip is be creative when putting in your uh, cameras. You have to sometimes, you know, otherwise you'll miss out on getting some great video. And I've got some really good video on this, which I really like. All right, let's head home. It's starting to get dark.